Now, believe it or not, and I've been known to lie, this game is pretty good. In fact, if this game took the test for mascot racing quality, it would pass with flying colors. But you know, every class has a kid who gets good grades by copying from classmates. And maybe I'm just being cynical, but this game is a lot like that kid. This is Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. And as good as it may be, this game is a duplicate, a Xerox, a copycat of another popular racing game. From the control mechanics and course designs to gameplay options and multiplayer modes, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing is basically a clone of a racing series born long ago on a Nintendo console. In fact, every copy should have that sticker on the box. This game owes its existence to the Nintendo classic, Rad Racer. I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of like Mario Kart 2. So blatant as it may be, the game's lack of originality certainly won't inhibit the enjoyment you'll derive from it, especially not if you're a Sega fan. In fact, one of the coolest things about Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing is how thoroughly the game pays tribute to Sega's rich history. Of course, Sonic the Hedgehog and his associates are the main attractions, but the game is packed with references to plenty of other Sega classics. In fact, you've got characters and levels from Samba de Amigo, Super Monkey Ball, House of the Dead, Virtua Fighter, there's even a level from Jet Set Radio. And if having a level based on Jet Set Radio doesn't constitute a fairly thorough celebration of Sega history, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not sure what does. But on the other hand, I do think the game's character selection itself is a bit lacking. I mean, seven of the game's 20 drivers are from the Sonic series, and that definitely feels like Sonic Overkill, especially considering the roster's omissions. Instead of so many secondary Sonic characters, why not include Knights? How about some Rystar representation, or, or even Gunstar Heroes? As well as the game explores Sega's legacy in just about every other area, it definitely feels like it could have done a little better in terms of playable characters. Fortunately, once you pick a character and start racing, the game does more than enough good things to make you forget you can't pick Rystar. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing plays almost identically to Nintendo's Mario Kart. You can drift around turns to get a quick boost, you can use items during the race. Basically, if you can do it in Mario Kart, you can do it in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. And believe me, I mean that as a compliment. It may not be quite as good as the original Kart Racer, but this Sega-fied version is surprisingly tight, offers solid control, and benefits from some pretty impressive track design. However, the game does blow out a few tires. Now, it looks fantastic, it has excellent graphics and a nice sense of speed, but unfortunately the frame rate struggles to keep up sometimes, which is a blow to both. Of course, the game's inescapably copycat nature leaves you with a familiar aftertaste as well. So if you own a Wii, you do have a much better option for mascot-based kart racing. Of course, if you don't, this is one of the best alternatives on the market. Now, I'm playing the PlayStation 3 version here, but the game is also available for the Xbox 360 and Wii, and each of those versions has a perk. The 360 game has Banjo-Kazooie as a playable character, and you can also play as your avatar. The Wii version includes Mii support, and in terms of these exclusive features, the PS3 version gets squat. Of course, otherwise, all three are basically the same game, but should any of those features appeal to you, well, choose wisely. But this racer crosses the finish with plenty of steam. It may be a little unoriginal, but this is a well-made kart racing game with fantastic multiplayer appeal, both online and off. And if you're a longtime fan of this storied company, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing 
is like the Smash Brothers you've never had. Oh, so watch out for some cool action. Ai Ai makes his full-star move. Ai Ai takes first. He'll be going bananas about that. 